Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to make the same Toon shader. So first you need to create a new analyt uh, shader using shader graph. Open it, make it double sided and create a new material from it. Then add this material to the character. After that add a new texture to the properties. Then add this uh, value to the sample texture node. Then add this node to the base color. After that you need to select your texture in the material. Next step is adding custom shadows. For that first create a new custom function node. I will call it main light and select type string. Add two outputs for this node. Call the first output color and the second one direction. Then just copy paste this line of code that I will left in the description under the video. But change what to vector3 because color and direction use uh, three vectors. Then make a dot product from light direction and normal vector. After that remap this value from minus 1 to 1 to 0 to 1. And on this point we can check result. So when I rotate the lightning you can see how shadows change on this model. But we don't need smooth lightning in the tune shader. So divide this value uh, on uh, 0.5. Then use a floor node. Floor node uh, makes uh, the value either 1 or 0. Then use a remap node again to make uh, shadows slightly darker than the rest of the body. Because we don't need the really black shadows. Change the zero value, for example, to 0 0.85. Now we can check a result. We can multiply this value with the main texture. Just use multiply node. But it's not the end. If the uh, scene will be dark, uh, the character will uh, still uh, bright. So we need to multiply the output again with uh, main light color. So now everything is okay. When uh, the light uh, is dark, the character is also dark. It's only left to add the outline. For this create a new shader uh, and lead the shader graph. But you need to change render phase from front to back. Then create a new material. Then you can add the ability to change color in the properties. For example, it will be black. And now let's work on the outline itself. First add normal vector node and connect it with normalize node. Then multiply this value with float value that will be outline thickness. Then add the object position and connect it with vertex position. After that go to the character and add this material as the second. And we get this good outline. Also we can multiply outline thickness with object scale. So the outline will be the same with different uh, scale value in transform. You can do the same shader in Amplify. It's a bit easier because uh, it uh, has its own word uh, light direction node and uh, light color node. Also you don't need the second shader for the outline. 
you just can use uh, amplify outline feature. Just add outline using this check button. As you see, the results are the same for both render pipelines, for universal and for built-in. And that's all. Goodbye.